Norwich 4, Preston 1. <laughs> Not really. We haven't had the audacity to score two goals at Carroll Road since, I think, when spoons were invented. Okay. What happened? Well, Alex Neal had come back to his old stomping ground and he was marching around like a little angry bear wearing a slightly different coloured tracksuit than he used to. Oh, watching him was like seeing your ex for the first time. That special one. The one who took you out for a wonderful day out in London. The one you thought would never leave you. The one who gave you memories you'll never forget. Yeah, well he swanned into the dugout with his crotch pushed out and it's probably stuffed with 50 pound notes that we gave him. Now before the game started, I feel I need to kind of set the scene, you know, how cold it was. Something poetic, so. <clears throat> As I sat down on my plastic seat, my balls retracted into my body like two Tic Tacs rattling around in a bag for life. Nailed it. The game kicked off and our usual tactics of playing okay for the first 20 minutes and then completely messing up our first really good chance worked perfectly. And that big chance fell to Josh Murphy who took the ball around the goalkeeper and he's round the goalkeeper, he's going to put it in the back of the net. Here we go, here we go, any minute now. He's going to put the ball in the back of the net. Here we go, here we go. He's going to put the ball in the back and there. Go on, just slot it in now. The goalkeeper's still on the floor. Come on, just, just in the open goal, mate. Come on. Go on, Joshy, put the ball in the back and there. Oh, no, mate, don't look at me. Put the ball in. He's cleared it. Then James Madison decided to put the whole of our season's hopes off his shoulders, just to the side for a few moments, and score a free kick from an angle that was more difficult than me trying to shave the Norwich City crest into my pubes. It looks like Phil Mitchell. Then after half time, Preston scored, and Alex Neal celebrated like we were at Wembley again. I thought we meant something to you. And then after 80 minutes, we joined the fucking Twilight Zone. Or as I like to call it, what the bloody hell is happening right now? Okay, it started when a linesman's leg fell off. Still with me? Good. He then proceeded to do the longest and slowest and most saddest walk I have ever seen a man do. It was like he was on the home straight of the London Marathon and people didn't give a shit. Ooh, get off! Help me! I've just run 26 miles, my leg's fallen off, why are you booing me? You shouldn't have done it if you're gonna get injured, Limpy! Boo! Then, with the possibility of the game being called off, we needed a hero. We needed someone special. We needed someone with heart. Someone with spirit. We needed someone to come in and grab Murray City by the throat and say, guess what, football? You are not stopping today, you are carrying on, because this is Norwich City Football Club, and we... We ended up with some bloke in jeans, so... It's funny though, isn't it? It's a very important job, you know, holding the scoreboard up, very important job. I mean, look at this, look. Takes years of training, that this. Qualifications, loads of qualifications. I mean, imagine if any Tom, Dick and Harry got hold of that thing. I'm putting 45 minutes on, 45 minutes extra time, 45 minutes, woo, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, we're playing 45 minutes. Wait, wait, I'm going to bring their goalkeeper off, substitute, again, here we go, substitute, goalkeeper, hey! So there we go, finish 1-1. It's the only game I've ever been to where the additional time was. Okay, so that's four minutes for the substitutes, one minute for the injury down there, and an extra five minutes for... I ain't got a bloody clue what's going on. So there is a reason why I'm doing these videos again. In late September, my daughter, Evelyn, Evelyn was born and she wasn't very well, unfortunately. And she was put into the neonatal intensive care unit for a week. And the staff there were incredible. I have no words to describe them other than incredible. And when I left there, I thought, do you know what? I need to do something. So. I'll do more videos 
if you get me to the limit of £2,500, it will buy lots of equipment that they desperately need and it will save children and future Norwich City football fans from now until onwards. So please help out and I will do the videos. Deal? Deal? Deal. So there we... Oh, sorry. There we have it. Oh, my voice is gone. There we, my voice is gone. What happened will return in January, but only if we reach our target. So please give generously. Bye! He's wearing jeans.